Hi, I'm Andrew Simpson with Ether Automation. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically assign leads to your sales team based on a, we'll say, arbitrary set of rules that you would want to establish within your business. So I'm going to start out here by sharing my screen. And hopefully I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a, a short video. Great. And so I'm on the home page of Zoho CRM right now. And first thing I want to do is I want to go to my uh, users. So if I go to settings, then click users, I have here two users right now, user one and test two. Um, these users, I have a, a field. I can go here, click edits, and then click manage fields if I want. Uh, but I have this field called types of leads. And within that field, there are three options, special and user and partner, all right? So let's say we wanna assign leads that are either special or end user to this user type, but there may be other people with the same lead type. Um, for example, here's test two and they have the types of lead is special and partner. So if a lead comes in and that lead is type special, I'm gonna to wanna to split that assignment of that lead either to user one or test two. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I have a lead right here and this is lead type special. So let's go ahead and make a workflow rule that will automatically assign these leads to someone. And we're gonna create those, the set of rules of who it's gonna assign them to. So let's go automation, workflow rules. Let's create a new rule. And we're gonna call this assign lead to salesperson. Next. And then on lead creation, we for all leads, we want to invoke a function. And we're going to write a new function for this. Assign lead. Great. So now that we're in the function, how is it going to work? Let's start out with um, some basic architecture here. Right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is get the lead. Then once we have the lead, we want to get the list of users that could be assigned this lead. Once we have the list of users, we want to um, check to see how many leads this user has been assigned this month. So we're going to assume that each month a certain number of leads come in and we want to assign those leads out to uh, your team. We're not going to look at historical because if you have a new, new, new salesperson on your team and someone who's been on your team for, you know, uh, five years, that person's probably going to have more leads historically than this new person. So all the leads would automatically go to the new person. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at it on a month by month basis to make sure everyone has roughly the same amount of leads. All right. So then whoever has the lowest leads will be assigned the new lead. All right. That's basically it. So let's start out, let's go ID and let's get the lead ID. So the lead, lead is equal to zoho.serum.getRecord by ID, leads and ID. Very simple. So now we wanna get the list of users that could be assigned the lead. So list, of users equals zoho.serum.getRecords users. Now, I'm not actually sure if this still works. Uh, so let's 
Let's check this one very, very quickly. Boop. Okay, so it doesn't work. It does work. It is a lowercase u. It's important to remember that here. So based on this, I can copy all of this and I can look at JSON parser. And we always want to go with this first link here. It is not secure. So if you're concerned about it, uh, don't share any information. So in here, I have two users, right? These two users right here. So user one, this is the... First name is user one, and I can look in here and find one, they're active, but two, there is a field to say types of leads. There we go. So for each user in list of users dot gets now if i look at this users here is actually a uh, list so i want to do dot get users dot to list if user dot get types of lead so now we're in the types of lead right here and there's a list. Um, so let's go dot to list and then let's go dot contains. Um, and then we want to say the lead dot get, if I look at the lead, it is type of lead. Type underscore of underscore lead equals equals true. Then we can assign a lead. So let's go info assign lead to info user gets. And we want to assign it to a name. But for our purposes, we are going to want to use an ID. ID. So now let's just very quickly check what I'm expecting. Because it is special, and I have two users that do special, I'm expecting two IDs to be printed out. Two IDs have been printed out. So now these two IDs are the IDs I want to potentially assign this lead to. So how do we save them? Well, let's make a list. List of, of users to assign lead to equals list and copy dot add. right here. So now that we have a list of users that can be assigned a lead, now we actually want to check to see how many leads they've been assigned. So for each element, uh, user to check leads. Now we want to actually do a COQL search. So let's go to Google. Let's go Zoho CRM, uh, COQL API. Records, blah, blah. let's click Deluge. This is my favorite trick is copying and pasting this. So let's tab everything in.
we're doing a COQL query, right? So we're grabbing last name, first name, full name from leads, but um, that's not the important thing here. The important thing is it gives me a count, right? So let's start out and say the highest number, highest number equals, now if you're getting this many leads a month, congratulations, um, you don't need my help anymore. But for everyone else, you're probably gonna have less than this many leads coming into your business um, at any given time. So we're querying for a person and we're um, uh, leads owned by this person this month. Um, actually, this is in general where owners, um, and I want to add the query for created time this month. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, I'm gonna skip over this bit because uh, I have another video about COQL queries. There are, uh, I had to process the time, the date time for this. Um, so right now we are getting the number of leads created since the end of last month to today. Um, and as you can see, there's this count of one. So now we wanna do this thing that says, um, if, from the response, uh, if response equals equals no, then we want to say count equals zero, All right? So the count is zero. Um, <clears throat> if uh, then we'll do else, else then the count is equal to the response dot get. And if I bring this into our trusty JSON parser info, then count. So let's do that. Get info, then dot get count. And let's see if it's in quotes. It is not. Great. And finally, we want to go if the count is less than the highest number. And uh, there's two I's in there, which go. Then the new highest number is equal to the count. Okay, so this will tell us which one is the, the, the largest ID. So then finally, or which, which user has the most leads assigned to them this month. So then we'll do ID to assign leads equals blank string. But eventually, once we're in here, let's go ID, ID to assign leads equals this right here. So then finally, we can say uh, info this ID should get the lead info ID to assign leads. So now let's quickly check that it doesn't break for whatever reason, because code will do that from time to time. There we go. So this ID should get the lead. And if I look at our users, I believe that is going to be this one right here, 
because this one has no leads assigned to it. So finally, let's finish the function, which in this case, we want to update the lead. So updates map equals map, update map dot put owner comma user to check lead uh, or ID to assign leads. Finally, info zoho.crm.up. I don't know why that's in quotes. Zoho.crm.update record. The leads module, the ID is the ID. And then the key value is update map. So now let's edit and execute or save and execute. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna expect this lead owner to go from user one to test two. So let's go ahead and uh, let's click cancel here and run the function. There we go. So now if I refresh this page, test two. So this function will now, when I click save and save, anytime I create a lead, let's actually go and do this regardless of if who it's assigned to originally. Test two, test two. So I'm expecting this to stay on user one. And if I click save, it will run based on the timeline and it's assigned salesperson. Oh, that's because there's no type of user. So let's actually delete this one. Let's create a lead. Test three, test three. Type of lead is special. If I click save, so it's assigned to user one, but when the timeline runs, which we can see it here, it was moved from test two to test one. If I create one more with the same test four, test four, because there is two on this type of user and one on the other, it will stay on user one. Save, let's go back to leads. So this one is user one, this one is test two. When I go back to it, had a typo right here. But at this point, if I go back to the leads, there's one of each. So the next one I create will, uh, it will stay on whoever it's assigned to. Test five, test five, type of lead is special, save. And if I create one more lead, so this is on the test two user, but now if I create a test six, test six, you'll see that the type of lead, if it's special, it will keep it on user one. Let's hope that is accurate here. I look at the timeline, it ran, and as you can see, nothing changed. So the lesson here is to make sure you spell check your code. Uh, the second lesson here is the code that I went through on this video with you. I hope you found this helpful. I will see you in the next video.